that just about has this bottom part of the cabinet finished, but I still need to make my plywood top. And what I'm going to do is make that out of three quarter plywood with just a wooden edge band detail that I made with a couple router bits. I'm going to use some pocket screws to hold that trim up, kind of a combination between some headless pins to kind of hold it in place, some clamps to pull it up, and then some pocket screws to hold it right away so we can unclamp it and work on it pretty quick. This is the piece of molding that I'm going to make to wrap around my wooden top. And it's actually made make it with two cuts with two router bits. The first one is a uh, kind of a coven bead cut and then it's just a big round over on the top. So this is the bit that makes the first cut. And I actually have to run these pieces on edge to do that. But the reason I'm able to do that is because I'm going to have about four pieces stuck together. So I have a nice big surface for the base of my router to run on. Here's the cut that we're going to be making. I'll make a little bit of a climb cut first. And the other thing that I did is these pieces are a good six, eight inches longer than I need my finish trim to be. And that allows me to have a clamp on the end and I can stop before I get right to the end. So a little extra length and several pieces stacked together lets me make this cut and then I'll just finish up with this big round over. Then we should be, if the screws are doing their job, I ought to be able to turn it over and pull it off. <laughs> are going to provide a place that I'll be able to screw up through the other plywood top 
end of these blocks and tie the two units together. Here's the basic cabinet. Now all that's left is trim. I'm going to run what's basically a baseboard type trim around the bottom and then I'll run it around here and then I've got a two-piece kind of a crown detail that we're going to put around the top. And I'll show you what that looks like. And then of course I'm just going to make some shelves but really all shelves are just a piece of plywood with a decorative nosing nailed on. So here's the profile that I use for the baseboard. It's just a nice simple kind of an elongated OG. Now I use this same molding right here at the bottom of this upper cabinet. Now let me show you what we did at the very top. Now this is actually a two-piece molding. and Let me show you what I mean by that. This piece actually nails to the front of the face frame of the cabinet and then the second piece comes in over the top like this to make the rest of the profile. And then when you put them together it's like a crown at the top of the cabinet. When you look at this cabinet, it can be almost a little bit intimidating. But one of the things I learned a long time ago is if you just take any project like this and just break it down to small pieces, like we have in this video, you can realize that it's really pretty easy to do. It's just building one box and then another box that sits on top of it, some pretty simple doors and a drawer, and then add the moldings. You bring all that together and you've got a really nice looking cabinet.